And it's time once again for based South Korea to show us how it's done when it comes to absolutely roasting controversy farming, social justice activists who think women can't be beautiful just because they can't. In my previous video, I showed you how the IGN France controversy surrounding Stella Blade had managed to become an international incident. Alright, slightly hyperbolic, but for the uninitiated, a so-called journalist at IGN France a week or more a couple of weeks ago now decided to insult the creator of Stella Blade, uh, Mr. Hyung Tai Kim, for having an attractive female in his game, Stella Blade. They said that he has never seen a woman before, though his wife is actually very attractive and she designed the character. They said that the character, Eve, was unrealistic based on out of touch, completely unrealistic body proportions, even though she's based on an actual living, breathing, real life glamour model for Maxim Korea, Shin Jae Yun. Maxim Korea then came back and decided to have a big, big laugh at the Woke West with a YouTube video directly calling this out. Because once is never enough, though, they've decided to go back to the well, thank Asmund Gold for his coverage of it, and embarrass the hack frauds in games journalism once again. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We are going to get into the latest backlash from Korea, the country, as they attempt to uh, basically roast and succeed spectacularly at roasting the ever-loving out of IGN France and the woke West in general, because it's... Uh... A little depressing, but it does seem that people in the East, which is actually where I live, are more and more starting to see the West as an insane communist country, or just, yeah, one big insane communist country, kind of, who can't handle reality. And I think uh, most of them are absolutely sick of it. It's 100% true here in the Philippines, where they didn't realize how bad it was getting until they suddenly discovered their beloved Miss Universe was being run by a trans person. So, yeah, there's that too. What I'm saying is, the East is laughing at the West, and we're going to have a look at more of this. So if you're liking the video, then like the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more news reviews, commentary, and apparently, TMA. <laughs> We are going to have a look at this video that was released a couple of days ago, an update from Maxim Korea with special thanks to Asmund Gold. No, I'm not making this up. And uh, please don't ban me for playing this YouTube. Let's get into it. Oh, wow. This video is definitely not for children, YouTube, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they don't care, do they? They do not care. They are quite happy to be as sexy and sexualized as they want. They are positively reveling in it. They have no problem with it at all. I mean, this is, I've said it before, just look at the biggest pop acts. Korea's biggest music export is like... Five to ten member girl groups like Momoland or, or one called Stella, in fact, or Blackpink, which is probably the most famous of the lot. Uh, check them out in your own time. I'm not putting the pictures on my channel. It's bad enough that I'm playing this. But uh, enjoy. Look, she's even got a tongue hanging out for crying out loud. Oh, dear. And so we are back for Korean Maxim News. <laughs> Ah, yeah! Straight out of the gate, this woman knows that she is delivering a hammer blow. Because everybody was saying, excuse me, from the last video, that the woman herself, who was presenting the news, was pretty much every bit as fit and in good shape and attractive as Shin jae the model who was behind Eve's proportions herself. And so, eager to one-up themselves, they've now got the newsreader in a... Chicago Bulls swimsuit with uh, not much left to the imagination down below. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a certain uh, desert animal's foot going on over there. But you'll have to be the ones to zoom in and find that for yourselves. I'm not doing it, guys. Today's news is brought to you by Miss Maxim Lee Yon Woo. Hello, Lee Yon Woo. Nice to see you. 
Last week, we delivered Maxim news with the title Who Has the Most Realistic Body? Yes, of course, it was Shin Jae Un, the woman presenting the news, there she is, and uh, Eve from Stella Blade, who all basically have the same body. And if they're getting their models to present the news, as it seems they are, that shouldn't come as any surprise to anybody. You gotta love the fact that they just don't give a damn. They are basically trolling IGN at this point. This has got to have been great for their channel. <laughs> this has got to have been like the biggest global news that they've had ever. It's Maxim Korea. You can't imagine that they had that much global attention beforehand. But they sure do now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love the way those Asians do that sort of like this sort of wooden ass acting, but it's deliberate. Oh my wow. A lot of people around the world have seen this news and left comments. Yes, we have. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh thank you, Korean creatives, for resisting the insanity of Western creatives. Oops. Uh, as a Western gamer myself, I'd like to point out two things. The people who are against Eve's design tend to lust over images of men or other characters and stuff. Right about Stella by Spider-Man game, uh, Spider game. I bet in five years the people complaining about Eve now are going to pretend that she was a strong woman. Yeah, an example of Stella Blade. Meanwhile, including many gamers from the Western world, globally thanking Max Maxim Korea, saying things like, Who's the Maxim news reporter? Thank you, Maxim Korea. Definitely buying Stella Blade. <laughs> The West has gone crazy. I stopped watching their TV years ago and took out a subscription on whatever site. Nice to see women, blah, blah. Then there's some actual Koreans. Western journalists do not represent Western players and customers. We love your work. I'm a Western gamer and I 100% support, uh, support Stella Blade. Shin jae is just doing amazing work portraying the character's body and we're pleased and gratitude for that. As a Westerner myself, I'm very happy to see Korean developers stand their ground. Shin Jae-yoon's body, body is indeed realistic and exists in reality. That was what they said. Yeah, wow. It's not hard to see why they've gone back to the well, is it? <laughs> Especially, we laughed a lot at a video posted by Asmon Gold, a famous Twitch streamer and YouTuber from the USA. <laughs> There, that was him re responding to Grums, yeah. There's the infamous image of Shin jae -yun getting scanned to make Eve. Now, this, of course, is the ludicrous video that we saw before. This came out a while ago, but Asmon Gold was reacting to it when people were asking them, these people, if they think it's uh, realistic or not, I believe. And just look at this. Look at this face. Like, this looks like Hypnotic's character, transphobic bigot, when he played Hogwarts Legacy. This is, uh, I mean, for God's sake, you've got green hair. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing realistic about this. It's completely ludicrous. Oh my God, my lights are messing around. Oh, uh, well. And then on the left, you've got this other woman who's just got a face full of piercings and it's like they go out of their way to look nothing like a human being and then they are the ones saying it's unrealistic thank you look at this mad woman with these huge hunks of metal hanging out of her face for watching our youtube channel <laughs> thank you for watching our youtube channel we continue to bring you the hottest news in the world. to bring you the hottest news in the world i think that's a pun love you Aww. we love you too dear <laughs> There's a Korean proverb that says, row your boat when the water comes in. Strike while the iron is hot, make hay while the sun shines, we get it. At such a time when so many people around the world are showing interest. Let's not miss this opportunity and introduce the realistically bodied Maxim models that actually exist in Korea. <laughs> The Sexy Survival Miss Maxim Contest. What is that? Sexy Survival Miss Maxim Contest. Sexy Survival 
맥심 코리아의 모델을 미스 맥심이라고 부르고 있습니다. <웃음> 지난주 맥심 뉴스에 나왔던 김나정 씨도 Okay, so then we just proceed to have all of the models on Oh wow, Jesus Christ. The woman even turns around herself. <웃음> I gotta censor that, I think. She doesn't care either. No, they don't give a crap, do they? They're just like, hey, look how many sexy women we have. That's literally our brand, guys. Sex sells, we know it, and we're very happy about that. Okay, I think that's about all I can show. Wow. <laughs> don't give a damn, savage. All right, well, there you go. It looks like uh, Korea and Maxim are just gonna continue to dine out on IGN's absolute embarrassment insulting a man and his wife and his work and calling an entire culture down on them oh boy honestly I, this is times like this when i'm glad i live in asia maybe i'll pop over to korea and say hi on behalf of the west see if i can find the uh shift up office and go give them a bunch of flowers Anyway, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans. If you'd like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans, respect Korea, and I'll chat to you next time.